Hi, it's Chris Nielsen coming to you live from the iCafe studios. We're going to look at part four of our Movie Maker tutorial. In this segment, what we want to do is we want to look at those special effects where we have an object that moves across the screen. Now remember, these objects have to be image files. Now they can be JPEGs, they can be bitmaps, they can be PNGs. Uh, I can move those across the screen. Uh, it, it doesn't matter what type of image it is. The reason that we tend to use PNG files is that PNG files have a transparent layer. So if I have a JPEG of you know, a flower, it's still a square picture with a flower in the middle. I'm going to see the square as it moves across the screen. If I have a PNG file, while it may be a square, I can make everything clear except for the flower. So it's going to look like just the flower moving across the screen. So the tips for uh, utilizing these. The first thing is to remember where the pictures need to live. They must be in the Program Files, Movie Maker, Shared Folder. You need to put the image in here. So I have a picture here. If I click on this, it's a picture of a ship. Now you see a lot of white in this picture, but the white is really transparent. This is a transparent PNG. And let's look real quick at the XML file that's going to control this. Remember, those live in the add-on TFX folder. And we've got this sample file called Moving Overlay. And we're going to look at this together here real quick. Um, in this, in this uh, XML file, uh, basically what matters here is that we're using the XML parameters that allow movement. Again, these things are nasty and ugly and you don't need to retype all these. What matters are these values at the end. So you can copy and paste this XML file and make it your own. And here's what matters. When it starts, entrance zoom, what size is it? A value of 1,1, one, one, that means it's its original size. Um, it's the size that you created it. Uh, the first value is you know stretching it um, horizontally and the second value is stretching it vertically. 1-1 one, one is no stretch. If I did this 0 0.5, 0 0.5, it would be half its size. 2, 2 would be twice its size. So what size is it when it starts? What size is it as it moves across the screen? And what size is it as it exits the transition? So you can have an object like zoom in and then zoom back out. Um, so you can get some nice you know, fade in and, and pull out effects. What picture are you moving? What is the name of the image file that is in the shared folder? And then finally, the part that can be the most confusing is where does it start, the entrance position and the exit position. Don't worry that it says bitmap entrance position. That's the name of the transition, not the type of file you're using. We are going to start at 1.51. So this is going to start in the bottom corner but the 0.5 means it's off the screen. And it's going to exit at negative 0.5, still at 1. So it's going to move in a straight horizontal line across the screen. It's going to start off the screen, and it's going to end off the screen. So let's go ahead and look at that. If we jump into Movie Maker, the, here's the part that, that can be a little tricky on these moving overlays. The moving overlays are not a video transition and they are not a video effect. They're actually a title or credit sequence. So you normally go into titles to type in some, some text. But you'll notice when you go into tools, titles, and credits, we'll put a title on the selected clip. There are title credits that involve imagery. So a news uh, video insert. It's got this nice graphic here. What we're doing is controlling that by putting our own graphic in there. So we actually have this title called Ship Moves. That's coming from that XML file. And if I click it, I see that this title sequence is actually the ship moving across the screen. So we like that, but you'll notice that my add title to movie is grayed out. That's because you have to have some text to add a title, but we don't want any. So we're going to edit our title text, and we're just going to hit the space bar. That's enough. It doesn't take up, it doesn't show any character or text on the screen, but it allows us to hit the done add title to movie. 
And now if I scrub across my timeline, I have a ship moving across the screen. And you'll notice down here, here's how long it will take. If I drag this out, I can make the ship move much slower across the screen. And we can control everything about this. Uh, we, can, uh, we can change where the ship starts, where it ends. In fact, let's do that real quick. We're going we're gonna to check one more thing out here. So let's close Movie Maker. And we're going to come into our moving overlay. We're going to choose Edit. But this time, I would like it to start at the top corner. So we'll go 0, 0. And um, I'd like it to move down to the lower left corner. So we'll keep this the same. And we're going to save it. We'll go ahead and launch Movie Maker again. And we'll get grab some video. We're going to add a title and credit. We're going to add it on the clip, put our space in, and our animation is going to be the ship moves. But now you see it flies in from the top left corner. And we can change how long that duration is, and we can preview it here. So now we're starting in the top corner and flying down to the lower left. This is important because you can control exactly where objects move on the screen, and you can add these sequences one after another in your timeline. So um, I've seen an image where you have flowers on the screen and the, there's a picture of a bee and they have animated the bee flying from flower to flower. This is not the easiest animation tool. There are things that do this better. But when all you have available to you is Movie Maker, I wanted you to know that there are ways that you can really dive in and control how things look on the screen. So that wraps up part four, moving overlays. In part five, we're going to look at the picture-in-picture -picture transitions as the final aspect of our Movie Maker tutorial sequence. Thank you.